I'm Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Joseph Rolanitis, and he's from the FDA. Thanks for coming back, Joe. It's always great to be here with you, Ramona. You know that. Thank you so much. So, internet buying of drugs? That is always with us, always popular, um, and probably a way to save money if you do it right. Uh, you put yourself in jeopardy if you're not aware of the proper, you know, buying techniques on the internet. Uh, there's no doubt medications are expensive, and mm -hmm. everybody's tightening their belt a little bit. You know, in all seasons, it's just the way it works out. Um, internet buying has been going on for a long time, and problems have definitely come with it. Uh, we recommend. I mean, you can you can go to your computer. Any of your viewers can go to your computer and type in drugs.com, and you get hundreds of medication prescription drug sites. Uh, you know, it's nice to have an open market. It's good to have the options. Uh, you know, internet drug sites offer you better prices. They offer you great, you know, great variety of selection. They offer you privacy, um, but they also offer you the danger of, of not being well policed in some cases. Um, there, you know, there's there's a national association of boards of pharmacies. Um, all drug sites, legitimate drug sites, are registered in the states that they operate out of. Um, by the Board of Registration and Pharmacy in the state. I mean, you can, you can get the pharmacy number uh, through directory assistance. You can get it online. And you can go and check out the site that you're looking to buy medication on online and see if it's endorsed by the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy. Now, that association, that National Association, is only for the United States? Uh, it is. It, it's, it's, it's all the boards of pharmacy in, in all the 50 states. Um, and it gives credibility, it gives reliability, it gives safety to the online sites. And this agency has created a BIPS endorsement, Verified International Pharmacy Practice Sites, VIPPS. If you're buying online, mm -hmm. if your viewers are buying online, Ramona, we really want them to buy from a VIPS site. Okay. You know, and, and what's the plus side of that? Well, VIPS sites uh, assure that you have the most important thing when you're buying medications is a legitimate prescription from a licensed physician. You know, the federal law, um, if you go on the website and you, you have a, a website which will sell you any medication you want, everything out there without a, a prescription, they're wrong. It's a federal violation. And if you don't have the, uh, the prescription, you don't have the safety that goes in having guidance from a medical practitioner. Um, you, I mean, you cannot guarantee that you'll be getting the proper medication for your condition. Uh, you may get uh, drugs that are out of date. You may get drugs that are contaminated, drugs and medications that are improperly uh, um, labeled. You might not get the right amount. Uh, everything. It's, it becomes a wild west of, of medical practitioners. It really does. You just don't know what you're getting unless you go to a VIP site and, and these folks work with the pharmacies, mm -hmm. you know, work with the state licensing boards, work with the health care practices, and make sure that you get the quality product that you want. So, for instance, if someone, just so I understand, VIPS is international? So if it were uh, to be a country, if in Denmark, for instance, that was going to be able to give you a, a particular thing and you had a prescription, would it? Would they somehow have something on it that said that they're VIPS? Well, let, let's, let's roll that back. That's sure. ver, ver, it's a verified um, internet pharmacy practice site. Okay. okay it's, 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 a, it's a U.S. Uh, oh, it's its own yeah, site. It's, yeah, it's, it's, okay. well, it's a site affiliated with the National uh, Association of Boards of Pharmacy. Okay. It's, it's their active internet endorsement, uh, if you want, for, for want of a better term. And so uh, th you want to buy you want to buy from sites that, that are, are VIPs regulated. Now, I mean, you can, you can buy from sites from anywhere in the world. You know, you can go to Zimbabwe mm -hmm. and buy there. But we don't recommend that because our, our regulation, our protection doesn't extend to the overseas oh, sites. Okay. So in other words, the consumer can go to a site and then get that site name and then go on the VIPs list and look to see if it's That's there. correct. They, they can verify if, the, if it's a VIPs site. Okay, and yeah. the VIPs site would include um, things outside of the United States or only includes things in the United States? Really, the, the, the credibility and, and the protection, regulatory protection, are for, for sites within the United States. Okay, that's, even that's, in VIPs? That's correct. Okay. That, yeah, that, that's, that's where your protection is. 
Uh, VIPS assures that these people are playing by the regulatory rules that the FDA enforces, mm -hmm. uh, that the Association of Boards of Pharmacy endorses, um, the, you know, that the medical community and the industry, it's a self-policing format basically, and, and that's where we want you to work, that's where we want you to buy. Um, I mean, there's a lot to be had out there, there's a lot to be had, mm -hmm. but it does you no good if it's a site that's going to, as you indicated, sell you an improper or contaminated, unlabeled, uh, expired product or a product that you don't well, need. It, it could kill you. It could. It could be I, fatal. If, you know, if you need blood pressure medication and it, it's supposed to be at a certain dosage and you don't get that dosage, that's a danger to you. You're not really saving money when you're putting your health online. You're really not. Um, and you know, the, I mean, the, I mean, the average cost of a prescription is extremely high. There's no doubt about that. But you don't want to add to a high price of a medication, a dangerous medication. Oh well, yeah, and then, and then a serious side effect because of sure. it, or an illness that's spun because of it. Um, very, 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 it, it is a big and growing market. It's huge, it's huge. and it's been, it's been that way for well over a decade now, and it is a growing market. And, anytime you, and, and at times, it's a very convenient option for people. As I mentioned earlier, you get privacy, you get lower prices probably, you get the option to shop around, um, you might be able to buy like a couple months ex if, if your prescription ex allows you exactly. to, and, you know, yeah. a bulk yeah. if you there, needed there, it. There's a, there's a lot of good things about it, but at the same time, you want you, you don't want a site that's selling your personal information to other vendors online. Oh, that's you, true. You want privacy. <laughs> you really yeah. want, you really yeah, want that's you, true. You get enough junk email as it is. Yeah. You, you really want to protect your privacy, and you want a site that has your health and well-being. You know, and, you know, not the bottom line. You know, dollar gain uh, yeah. at, at heart here. You yeah. want sites that you can trust. You want a, a you want a medical person or a pharmacist that you can contact via that site, via VIP site that you can discuss your situation with. You want them to respect and honor the need for a legitimate medical prescription mm -hmm. for the medications that you want. Oh, yeah. And there are a lot of them out there that will say, we will sell you anything you want. You don't need a prescription. That ought to be a light bulb right there. That should just, you know, that should be yeah. an indication that these people are not playing safely with your uh, your health in mind. They're not. Yeah. And, yeah. and how do you know that, that what you want may be what you need or if you know, what you are buying changes over time, you may end up with medicine that you don't need. But more importantly, I would think too, this. You know, there's the shipping costs if it comes from another country. Then there's the quality control of that country. We don't have You that. know, which yeah. we have no control over. Right, you don't. And, and, and if they don't have a regulatory agency and we don't, I mean, if we, no one's working in tandem that I know of with companies that are outside the United States selling these drugs. In other words, to verify that their plants are sterilized. You know what I mean? That yeah. their products and their ingredients yeah. are valid. Yeah, there's what we call GMPs, as you know, good manufacturing practices, you know, uh, drug GMPs. I mean, they have to, you know, when you produce in the American market, you have to adhere to very, very strict standards, as you mentioned, very strict standards. It's important. It's medicine. It impacts on your health and well-being. Um, overseas markets, you know, third world markets don't have the same standards that we do. They're trying to emulate. They're mm -hmm. trying to copy standards that you find in Europe and, and, and standards that you find in North America and in the United States. But that's a long, hard road to get up to those quality standards. Mm -hmm. So we want to assure that people who buy on the internet are getting exactly what they they need to get to maintain their health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So it's it, you're right. It's a huge equation. Many, many moving parts. Yeah. And the FDA has been dealing with this uh, policing it for a long time, you know, working with the states uh, and working with uh, the industries. It's just um, a lot you happening. You can't even recall because uh, it doesn't <laughs> even, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if it's something were really bad, you, how would you recall? You know, this medicine could go anywhere all over the world and there's no recall, there's no accountability. Yeah, we've traced back some of these, these sources for medications, even if they may come from, say, a, a Canadian uh, internet site or even a Canadian, uh, you know, uh, you know, hard hard site with you know mortar and, and, and plaster, whatever the case might be. We can't guarantee that they were manufactured in Canada. Right. They could have come from some, and they have come from uh, places in, in in Central Africa, places in South America, places in Asia that just don't have the standards and the enforcement in place, and can't guarantee the quality of the product. Yeah. So it's uh, it's an ongoing uh, dilemma, and uh, requires that people, you know, that your viewers, my consumers spend some time, if they're going to buy on websites, that they talk to their physician, they get guidance, mm -hmm. that they have a person to talk to at the website. Thank you so much, Joe. Loved it. Thank you.
I'm Ramona and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.